Hi, my name is Scott Dunn, Agile Coach and Trainer with Rocket Nine Solutions, delivering agility here in the Southern California area. Today I want to talk to you about a common model that I draw up in my Scrum Master classes that I think you might find helpful. The reason I draw this up is I think it frames and gives context to challenges we might have in our workplaces. It's called the Crossing the Chasm from Jeffrey Moore. And what it is is a very simple diagram, it's not unlike a U-shaped curve, that divides up the folks that we deal with into several categories. Now, at the very beginning, we have a very small group that's called the innovators, and they're going to typically take in new technology because it's new. Then you have your early adopters who don't mind being on the bleeding edge because that there's value there of some sort. And then you have early majority when I call them your version 3 folks, like everyone's jumping in the pool, I think it's safe to go and let's go. And then you have your late majority, where they don't care if everyone's jumping in the pool or what the temperature's like, they ain't going. They don't like change and they're a bit risk averse. And finally at the very end you have the laggards who aren't going to go until they're pushed off of the technology and they have to change. Now here's why I think this is important. Scrum's been around for a while and many folks that come into the class say, yeah, we're going to try that new Scrum thing. Well, it's been being used since the 90s, so it's not necessarily new. And the folks that we see adopting it now are very large organizations and in uh, segments that might surprise you, such as healthcare or defense. And this has been going on for several years now. So looking at those, what's their feeling and response about change? Well, I would put this in the late majority stage, and it's been that way for at least a number of years. And why does that matter for folks looking at Scrum? We're going to implement a lot of change, and how do these folks in general feel about change? Well, they don't like change, and they don't want to have to go. But it's a little bit like a burning platform, perhaps, where they don't want to dive way down into the water, but the platform's on fire. So they don't have a choice. So how are they feeling about that? In addition, I'd also ask that they tend to like a plan or a structure more than the other groups. Innovators are going to get something because it's new, and they don't need justification why or what it's going to look like. They're going to try it out. Well, the late majority wants to know what's going to happen, what's the impact, can you give me a plan? And sometimes when we're going through with ad uh, Agile adoptions, we can say, well, we'll figure it out, or don't worry, we'll get there when we get there. And this group, the late majority, might want a little bit more information and structure than that. So consider that as you introduce change to your organization, Jeffrey Moore's Crossing the Chasm, which you can find on the web, is a very insightful look at how do we fit our groups in there and where's your uh, spread on the folks that you're dealing with. I hope that's of some help to you, and good luck on your journey. Thank you.